My name is Cynthia Yonan. I'm a speech language pathologist and I work at English Oaks Nursing and Rehabilitation in Modesto and I've been there for the past two years. My job title as a speech therapist includes helping people in areas of swallow, cognition, speech and language, and also training families and caregivers in strategies to best support and care for their loved ones in order to improve their quality of life. The most inspirational part of the mission statement to me is the reminder that we're caring for the sick, the elderly, and the infirm. And not only that, but it's a special and sacred stewardship, meaning that all human beings have this inherent need to care for others who are unable to care for themselves. And um, if you really think about it, that's what a stewardship is. It's something that's been given to us to facilitate with other people. So a work situation where I feel like I really made a difference is more recently with a younger patient, a younger woman in her early 40s who had suffered a brain bleed and had forgotten most of her long-term memories, including things like her husband's birthday, her own birthday, and the names of her own children. Um, not only that, she was left unable to swallow and she was using a feeding tube. And through all of our hard work, all of her hard work actually, and all of her family's understanding and support, she was able to get to the point where she was not only eating three full regular meals a day, but she remembered her own birthday, she remembered her husband's birthday, she remembered her two children's names and their birthdays too. And that was just a wonderful, I think, driving point for me this is why I do what I do. So the person who's made the biggest impact on my life is my director of rehab, Deanna Littau, whom I would like to thank. Um, not only is she a skilled and competent manager who somehow stays afloat <laughs> through all the stresses of daily work life, um, but she hasn't forgotten the foundation of why we're in the field we're in in the first place which is compassion. So just the fact that she's able to meld that competency and compassion is what makes her not only a great boss, but also someone I can look up to. Um, of course, I would like to thank my mother and my father for giving me all of the opportunities that they were able to give me um, to get me to this point. Um, I'd like to thank my brother <laughs> for always lending uh, a listening ear for any <laughs> stresses I have to talk to him about. So I would like to thank Mr. Olds and the Generations team and all of my coworkers at English Oaks who make coming to work every day not only something I'm driven to do, but actually very fun. My name is Kendall Pete. I work at Siena Skilled Nursing in Auburn. I'm a clinical care coordinator and I've been working there for 22 years. Um, my job duties include um, discharge planning process, getting patients home safely, um, making sure patients uh, have skilled need to be there, um, and then managing all the different insurances, um, setting up home health for the patients once they go home, and equipment needed. So I'm a clinical care coordinator at Siena. Um, I work with the discharge planner and the skilled patients, uh, getting them home, setting up home health, um, any equipment needed, and making sure they're safe. Um, I feel like I make a difference um, with all the patients that I get home safely. Um, a lot of them call me even after they're home just to thank me and say how nice the facility was and um, that they liked being there. The most in inspirational part of the mission statement is the part that says the purpose uh, when you enter Generations Home is to be uh, with kindness, compassion, and caring. Uh, um, because it's who I am. I'm a caring person and I think that's what I was set here to do. <laughs> okay, the person that inspired me the most is Nikki Kilgore. Um, we kind of grew up together at Siena. Um, did the CNA, the LVN, the RN. Um, and she just really inspired me to continue my nursing career. She's a good leader. Um, she knew how to manage the, from the unit to the building. Um, she really stepped up the roles when 
we didn't have a, a director in the building, so um, she's just a real inspiration. I just want to thank the whole team for nominating me for this award. It really means a lot. Hi, my name is Doreen Oliphant. I'm a restorative nursing assistant and team leader here at Generation Healthcare, Gramercy Court, Sacramento, California. I'm the team leader here at Gramercy Court and I pretty much do everything here. I run the RNA team here and I carry out physical therapy and occupational therapies that are given to us by the director of rehab, Jesse Holloway. I, the favorite part of the mission statement is the kindness, the competence, and the caring that I do every day. What speaks to me, knowing that I have made a impact on doing their therapy and their occupational, their everyday life that they go through here at Gramercy, because this is their home, uh, making them smile, making them know that they, they are able to continue with the care that myself and my team here at Gramercy provides for them. The competence that I do, well, I do that every day. I try to do the best I can, the best of my ability, as being the team leader and being an RNA here at Gramercy. I was doing a therapy. I was placing a splint on a resident here, and um, he didn't care for the fact of, of the stretching it, of, and the placing of the splints, but we also were doing a therapy of having him sit on the edge of the bed. Um, he wasn't happy, he had a lot of little bit of profanity, but with my encouragement and my guidance, I gave him a whoop whoop because he did an excellent job. Um, he wasn't all that, but with me making him laugh and knowing that he can do what he can do because he tells us, no, he can't do it. And I encourage him, yes, you can. I know you can. You can do this. We do this three times a, three times a week. You can do this. And he smiles and says, thanks, Red. Thank you very much for the encouragement that you do. And I'll say, well, thank you. You're great. You, No problem. The inspirational person that I have actually is my sister, my twin, I should say. She called me up when she knew that I was in dire straits because I just lost my job and told me that there is a, there is a training for CNAs. It's under the SETA program. And I thought, oh, I can do that. But if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. As one RNA, two as a CNA, and the team leader here at Gramercy Court. My name is Eric McRaig. I'm the MDS coordinator and the case manager in Bayberry Skilled Nursing Facility. So as an MDS coordinator, I'm responsible for the completion of assessments, make sure to follow state and federal regulations. I act as a liaison for, this, for the facility, um, between the facility and the insurance company. I always feel good when I, when I uh, discharge a patient. I have this certain resident who, uh, who was sick and really didn't have the place to go and asked me to um, take care of his mom. So, you know, I initiated everything that the patient needs um, from DMEs to the place where she's going, you know, from every clothes, shoes, you know, everything that she needs. So that really, had an impact on me that I really helped this patient. If I choose three words from the mission statement, it will be kindness, compassion, and competence. Um, I try to leave those words um, in everything I do in the facility. I think, um, I, be, I always believe that kindness and compassion, if you treat every patient uh, with kindness and compassion, um, it is very important their well-being. I think to be able to provide uh, uh, quality care, you have to treat this patient as your family. The people who inspire me most uh, is the whole Bayberry team, or I could say the whole generation family. I'd like to thank my wife and my kids for being there for me, uh, for their patients. They inspire me the most, and also, you know, they're the one who color everything I do.
My name is Bennett Bamba and I am the respiratory therapist manager in Walnut Creek. My main responsibility is um, overseeing the respiratory therapy department, making sure that our RT staff are competent with, uh, with their um, doing ventilators and tracheostomy tubes. I do provide uh, emergency training as well to make sure that we are able to, to take care of any, emergen any emergency situations. I take pride of what we do as respiratory therapists. We help out a lot of patients, like from, from being them on a ventilator, we were able to wean them off the ventilator. We were able to uh, take them off the tracheostomy tube and they're able to go home with their loved ones. There's a one time, um, one of the family members, um, uh, the patient requires suctioning. I was passing by and asking for RT, and I said, ma'am, I can do it. We don't have to wait for the RT. And she thanked me and she said that uh, this is the first time that the, the manager will take care of the patients. My favorite part of the mission statement is whoever enters the generation healthcare treat them with kindness. And every day I have a mission. It's as simple as I hope I can make someone happy or someone smile for today. And and at the end of the day I I'm always happy that I was able to achieve that mission. My biggest uh, inspiration, of course, my family and my partner who supported me uh, with this journey, with my career. Everybody that contributed to our patients and uh, hardworking like CNAs, nurses, respiratory therapists, um, I thank them from the bottom of my heart uh, because Without them, I won't be the, the employee of the year. My name is Rose Ann Onate. I'm a registered nurse uh, here in Pleasanton Nursing and Rehab Center. I started working as a night supervisor um, since 2017 of June. So as a night supervisor, so help my colleagues, my coworkers um, during um, their change of condition. I also deal with uh, staffing for the next day. What inspires me about our mission statement is the word compassion. Because I want other people, or, or like my patients, to be like comfortable of what I'm doing to them. Gaining their trust of me taking care of them. I'm just grateful that I have my team at night shift. We support each other. Um, we help each other, we guide each other. I would like to thank um, our administrator, Kendra and um, our D.O.N. Um, Roma Castlemont. And to all my co-workers here in Pleasanton, from my previous supervisor when I was still working as a floor nurse, um, they honed me to become of who I am right now. I think that um, I work night shifts, so uh, they rarely see me working. Like They don't know what's going on during the night. Most of all, to my um, team uh, in Nakshif, from CNAs to LNs, for guiding me and um, or just being there. And then, if we have like uh, problems, we work as a team. My name is Siomara Mira, and I'm being CNAs for 23 years here in Smith Ranch. So every day, I'm here to help in residents. Uh, every morning to encourage them to uh, do exercise, to eat meals very well so they can uh, get better. My favorite part of the admission statement is compassion. For example, I years ago I have uh, a resident, she was here and her husband uh, passed away. I went to visit her to her room and talking to her, give her support, hugging her and uh, telling her she needs to keep going and uh, to get strong because in her house she had family 
to waiting for her and she had friends to waiting for her to go back home. I know I'm making uh, that patient to feel like uh, she's not alone, like uh, she have, I mean, people to, and I always tell my residents, I'm here, you have a friend here, you're not alone, so you can uh, get better. CNA jobs is not that easy, but I want to uh, say like thanks to my mom because when I came to this country, my mom, she already here, told me uh, I can uh, get a job like a CNA. So she's the ones like pushing me. So it made me go for it. So I want to say thank you to my mother because she's the ones uh, make me to do the kind of job I'm doing it now. I'm still doing it, so that's why I've been like working uh, at the CNAs 23 years. So I'm so happy to do this kind of job. Uh, my name is Elisa uh, Correa Manansala. I've been working at uh, Tanel almost uh, 16 years. I work as a AM ship, so in the morning, I do my assignment, because divided by the linen, by uh, 6 CNA. Then afterward, I get the blood pressure for the patient and uh, feed the patient if uh, somebody needed bed bath, shower, or uh, and uh, just report to the in-charge nurse, you know. And so many, many things we do for the patient. We make them happy, you know. Our own uh, surround my work are all special, you know, special that the families, we need to entertain them, you know, for, them, for our patient. Yeah, and uh, my co-worker, that my special too, we, I need to help them and encourage them as a teamwork. Uh, the favorite part of the mission statement is love. When I came here in America, I don't know, I didn't know this kind of job. Yeah, that's my favorite job, to give. I'm thinking if uh, somebody have a birthday, even my co-worker, if uh, they have a birthday, I give uh, some special gift. Yeah, that's my favorite, to give. I didn't uh, save my money. Just uh, give something for them. Even in, in my uh, patient, I bring the flower, and then we sing a song like that. For love, you know, love for the people. I want to thank to the, the people, people over there, all employees, my co-worker, yeah, and they can see me, how, how I work hard, you know, and they are nice to me, I'm nice to them. My name is Beth Galvez, Employee Services Coordinator. I have been with Lawton Skill Nursing and Rehab Center for 11 years. First thing in the morning, I read my emails and I respond immediately. I do review employee time cards to make sure there are no error or mispunch. I want 100% that employees are getting paid correctly when they get their paycheck and I handle employee benefits and then uh, I'm helping them. I assist them how to, you know, enroll their benefits and if they have questions, I answer it correctly. Yeah, the mission statement that inspired me is uh, whoever enters a generation's home will be met with kindness competence and compassion because uh, we are here to work together as a family as a five-star facility we are caring for a lifetime i remember when the activity director asked me to you know coordinate with the president's birthday so i participate we organize the birthday cake for the residents and then uh, the patients are so happy because I'm the one serving the cake also and then oh happy birthday and they said oh thank you because we have a resident that she always celebrates her birthday here. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Dan Daly, our administrator. He is really uh, 
giving me a chance, he's trusting me and believing with my ability. He is the best administrator that I ever met in this facility. And also my husband and my son, they are my inspiration every day and then they're giving, giving me strength for working here. And then uh, I would like to thank also my uh, staff managers and then co-workers who are, you know, giving hard work every day to serve our residents. Hi, my name is Julianna Nakaleto. Um, I'm a CNA. I work at San Francis Heights in Delhi City and I'm working for five years already. My job is to help with the patient for their activity daily living, like um, passing the tray, helping with their clothes, um, bringing to the shower or doing bed bath. And aside from that, I make sure that patients um, have a good nourishment or supplement they have and assure that um, they have the proper care and love they're gonna have in this facility. Um, for me, is uh, the praise is like caring for a lifetime, a lifetime of love and care. Because um, in everything we do, we need to give our hearts and soul of every work we have in order you're gonna have a happy and a peaceful and good team. Okay, so there's, a, there's one patient on me that um, it's like, he's just quiet, he's just lying down, it's like not talking, or just like, I started conversation with him, and then now he's feel great. It's like, um, it's like a brand new, like he's feel alive, happy, and strong. It's like a big fulfillment that you make a big changes to that patient. It really made me feel happy and fulfilling. Well, um, who I'm inspired to? Uh, my family, everybody, just myself. I need to prove every day that you need to be a better person so that you can make a changes to every patient you're working on, even if you're for your co-workers and staff on this facility. Okay. I would like to thank everybody who have um, being part of my journey as being a CNA, as a worker, and as a person. My name is Lani Polmano. I'm a registered nurse and I work at uh, Generation Healthcare in, uh, at St. Francis Pavilion in Daly City. And I've been here, I've been working there for 35 years. I supervise my, the unit and I make sure that everything is uh, being met. My coworkers are doing, I make sure that they're doing their work and um, that um, we take care of our patient. Uh, my favorite part of the mission statement is caring for the sick, the infirm, and the elderly because I love working with the elderly. I make sure that uh, they are cared for and cared and comfortable all the time. I like taking care of the elderly because I've been, you know, I also have uh, parents who are now elderly, 96 and 98. And that's why I treat my patients like my parents. And it makes me feel fulfilled, happy that uh, they are cared for and they are comfortable. Um, Actually, I have a resident just lately, you know, just just by holding her hand, she's so grateful. And I thought I made a difference because when I held her hands, she told me she's so grateful and that's what, uh, that's really what she wants to, you know, feel. And even just telling her that I care about her, she's so happy about that. And I feel that, it, that I made a difference. And then later on, at the end of the day, when she went home, she was so grateful, the family members are so grateful. They said that they are so thankful for the care that we gave and comfort. I would like to thank um, my administrator team, Castleman, my husband who is very supportive, and my children 
that uh, they support me with my work all the way. They are very supportive and I would like to thank them. I'm so grateful and I'm deeply honored to receive this award. My name is Christian Santos, I go by Chris. I am a nurse care coordinator at Cedar Crest and I've been here for almost three years. As a nurse care coordinator, I oversee the patient's entire care from the moment they step through the door out when they, we have to walk them out the door for discharge. So I do coordinate the nursing care as well as how they're progressing with therapy and arranging for how they will be able to go home safely. For the mission statement, the thing that always struck out to me is that how we should be always kind, compassionate, and competent. That's what really struck out to me most. I like, you have to work in a facility where everybody's competent, everybody's giving out smiles, and being in the healthcare industry can be straining at times. So to be able to give that smile out to everyone, your coworkers, the patients, the family, is something that really brings my heart to make work here. So I know that when I see a patient walk out of our facility, just with a walker, sometimes it's just a cane, it's something that I know I did something right. Like it's something that makes me feel like I've helped somebody else. So coming, seeing them come in with a gurney and then seeing them take their first steps at therapy and just walking out, that seems like I have really did my job. So we had this patient before, she came in, she looks very, very sick, she was on all these tubes, lines, you say it like she has it all. And then we can barely even have her sit up in the chair, but then after a while, working with the nurses, working with the therapist, she was able to walk out of here really well, and I was like, that's something amazing. <laughs> Um, somebody has inspires me, um, work ethic wise, my parents, my mom is such a hard worker. She's one of the reasons why I went into the nursing field. She showed me that being in a stressful situation doesn't necessarily have to be a big um, problem for you. It, you can see it as a challenge. So I'm really glad that my mom taught me that work ethic. Like, Cedar Crest has been my first nursing job. So growing in here from going a charge nurse, doing supervisory work, and now the care coordinator, I'm really glad that the DON see that potential in me, Cynthia. Cynthia has been really good. She likes making her nurses grow and Tracy giving me a really good opportunity to show what else I can do. It, it's a validation that what I'm doing is right. What I'm doing is really good and helpful to everybody, to families, to the patients, to my coworkers. So I'm, I'm really glad. Uh, my name is Joseph Partisala. I'm a nurse here at Plumtree Care Center, and I've been working here for less than two years. Um, I do the most important job here at Plumtree, which is I, I make sure that every patient here is met with the right care. I'm here for every step of the way in their journey to recovery and I want to make sure that once they leave here, they have a phenomenal experience here at Plumtree. Uh, my most favorite part of the mission statement is the purpose of when everybody that comes here at Generations is met with kindness, competence, and compassion. To me, it's very important just because it's, it's how I have always worked as a nurse and I have always devoted my, my life to helping others. And I want to make sure that Everybody that I come in contact with that I care of, I want to make sure that they have, like, I want to have that, I want them to have that confidence and they are reassured that they are being taken care of. And I want them to have the experience where I have gone above and beyond for them. One experience that stands out the most was I have a family member that came up to me. She was having a difficult time trying to make a decision for her mom to me, it was very simple. I gave her simple advice on what I would do if I was her in her shoes, but that was enough to give her the peace of mind to make a proper decision that was best for her mom and for herself. And she was so thankful that the next day, but she came back just because she wanted to thank me and she was crying. And honestly, that in itself was unforgettable. There are three people that I can think of that has greatly impacted me, uh, not only in my personal life, but also in my career. Um, Duke, Sheila, Khan, they have been great mentors for me throughout my journey. 
and they've always guided me every step of the way. And even though when I was lost and I didn't know what to do, they gave me great advice and that helped propel me. And as you can see, this is, you know, where I am today. Thankful for, for the staff here at Plumtree. So they've all played a part uh, in me winning this award, but um, I think a lot of it was, uh, you know, for me, it was that determination to excel in whatever it is that I do. And that, that in itself is just an affirmation to keep going. So my name is Jerome Alacre. I work as Assistant Director of Nursing here in Vista Manor. So for me as a clinical leader of this institution, we want to make sure that whoever enters the building of Vista Manor, whether it is a family member, a resident, or a guest, they will be treated with kindness as one of our main goal. And aside from being kind, they, we, we want to welcome them as we, with our competent leaders, as well as our staff, our clients, not only the clients, but as well as the family members. We have this one patient who is frequently faller, and she ha she's a dementic patient. She's an old lady, but very sweet. So every time we deal with the patient, we always want to make sure that we will prevent this patient from falling, but fall is something inevitable. We cannot prevent it. In the long run, we just have to like give an appropriate intervention. So every time I work with this patient, I always put in my mind that these people, people with dementia, they're not trying to give us hard time, but instead they're having a hard time. So instead of trying to bring them back to reality, what I put in my mind is why not to try to like see and experience their reality. And I started to realize that we just have to like give a special attention to these people. Like provide their needs, see what's the reason of the fall, and make sure we're giving them the personalized and appropriate intervention. And then from that on, we just realized that this patient is not falling anymore. Like, I mean, we, we prevent the patient from having frequent fall by means of appropriate intervention and personalized treatment that this people is needing. It makes a lot of sense with me because I finally realized that this is my purpose. For so many years working as a nurse, I've been trying to see what is my purpose, what really I wanted to do, and finally realized that this is my passion, this is my calling. My calling and my passion is working with old people, and I really love that. And I see myself like growing and working with this company. Well, um, I want to share and thank many people for this recognition and achievement. First of all, I want to thank my Vista Manor family, from my administrator who's been very supportive to me, my DON who always have my back, and all the people, my um, friends who turned out to be a family member, um, business office manager, DSD, um, MDS people, and the rest of the IDT. Um, I want to thank them for supporting me and giving me a chance to grow each and every day. Of course, to the special person that I am with right now, my Geronimo, he's been there for me. He always, you know, bring, bring out the best in me. And of course, if there's, all, if, if there's one person that I want to thank, that will always be my mom. She's always been my inspiration, my backbone, and my everything. So I dedicate this achievement and um, recognition to my mom and these people as well.